Right then, chicks update. Uh, you might remember about four weeks ago now, I put those four little eggs in an incubator. We tried under Shirley first, didn't we? And that didn't work. Shirley lost interest and walked off. So those eggs had to go into an incubator. Now, I was at one point really hoping that I was going to have two black chicks and two white chicks all at once. Giggity, 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 goo. Stick around. However, it didn't all go to plan. Um, only one egg hatched. And that's this little lady here. Let me show you. Here we go. Meet Freckle. She's the only egg that hatched. And she is, she came from a white egg. So her mother was a white leghorn. Uh, but she's not a yellow chick, which is what white leghorns are. She's quite a dark chick. So she's got her dad's genes and he was a black copper marron. Now, who's this? I picked these two up just yesterday. Popped over to, uh, popped over to the bottom of Warden Hill, where I met a very, very helpful young man called Igor, who sorted me out with these two. Now, they're a little bit older than Freckle. They're a little bit bigger, but not by much. So they're actually getting on absolutely fine. And it means that when I introduce Freckle to the big girls up at the, uh, up at the allotment, she's not going to get the shit kicked out of her. Um, if you introduce one young chick to an existing flock of three, it's not going to go well. This way, all three of them can be introduced to the three big girls together, and it'll be a much easier process. Plus, we had to do something quite drastically, because little Freckle here, she's a week old now, uh, she's a week and a day old. And she was imprinting on us quite badly. She'd never seen a chicken in her life until yesterday. And she was thinking she was a person. She used to scream her head off if you left the room. And she wanted to watch the TV. And she was just desperate for attention and fuss all the time. Very unchicken like So now, these two can teach her how to be a chicken. Now, can you see how much poo is in there? That is only a day's worth. I cleaned that out last night. <clears throat> so three little chicks in this tiny little brooding tank is a bit much. They're getting a bit big for it and they're creating a lot of mess. So, today, the three of them are going to go in Brad's shed. Here we go, here's Freckle. She's a lovely little thing. She's really, really friendly, really cute. She loves being handled. <coughs> Less so the other two, because I don't think they were handled very much before they came here. Um, before I finish this video, I'll, I'll look up the name of, uh, of Igor's little company that he runs. He's only a young lad, but he's really knowledgeable and really helpful. He, he was excellent. So I'd like to give him a little shout. Um, I'll mention the name of it. I can't remember it off the top of my head. I'll mention the name of his little business that he runs. And uh, there you go, ain't she lovely? She's just so tame and sweet. Yeah, there you go. Eat my mucky fingernails. I'll just finish work. Now this one, that's alright, this one is Speckle. I didn't name any of these, I had no say really in naming these chicks. This is Speckle and uh, we think she's a Sussex. I was told she's probably a Sussex. Not those ones. And this flighty little lady, she's Peggy. And she's a white leghorn, which is the same breed. The same breed as uh, Freckle's mum. Oh, in she goes. Now, Freckle was perfectly happy in there, watching TV and thinking she was a person. But now there's the three of them. They had, they had the night in here last night, just to get acquainted. And it's all going fine. So now, it's time to take them out of this tank. And we'll get them set up in Brad's shed. I'm all sweaty and hot and dusty. Covered in straw and hay, just how I like it. Love my new job. Uh, but first things first, I'll just have five minutes on the sofa. Right, they're down here in their new brooder, much, much bigger than that little tank they were in. Um, they'll be fine in here, basically, until they're ready to, until they've got their, their full adult feathers and they can keep themselves warm and they can go and live at the allotment with, with the big girls. Um, now, I just looked up Igor's company, it's Airco Farms. Um, he's at the far end of Luton, near Sunderland and Stretley, LU3, 
at the bottom of Warden Hill, where I made a video once. Halloween video, I think it was. Um, I was really impressed. He was just so knowledgeable and helpful. And I had no idea when I was speaking to him on the phone that I was talking to a lad of maybe about 14, 15 years old, something like that. But he's brilliant. Airco Farms, A-I-R-C-O. They specialise in quails, but he can also sort you out with, with chickens. And he, he went out of his way to get me these because he didn't have any. He got them and he called me, said, do I want them? Yes, I did. Uh, right, so here they are. Let me show you. In their new little house, what we've got, a decent sized shed, and I've uh, separated off half of it. In fact, as they get bigger, if I need to, I can move that to the front and give them double the space. But for the while, for now, they're perfectly happy down in here. Hello girls, how you doing? I say girls, I'm pretty sure they're all girls. Freckle's definitely a girl. The other two, I'm not so sure because it's actually past the stage with them two where you can tell by the wing feathers. But put it this way, there's nothing male going on. They haven't got big combs, they haven't got any spurs developing. So there they all are in their new little brooder. They've got their heater, they've got their feed, they've got their water. I'm monitoring the temperature very carefully and uh, I've got a piece of chicken wire to go across the top here they can't jump out or fly out yet but it won't be long before they can uh, they've got a light here on a timer so the light goes off at night and back on in the morning the heaters on permanently and uh, I know it's not much of a toy to you and me but actually chickens love a pallet they've got a little pallet so they can climb on that and they can fly up and perch on it and they can go and hide down there if they really want to. They've settled in together really well. There was a bit of confusion yesterday because, of course, poor little Freckle, she'd never seen a, pi uh, a pigeon. That's Brad, he keeps calling them pigeons. She'd never seen a chicken before in her life. And these two actually seemed slightly nervous of Freckle. Um, she wasn't nervous of them, she was just confused. But they actually sat and looked at her as though they were nervous of her. But they've had a night together in the little glass tank, so they're all acquainted now, they're all getting used to each other. The two big girls are teaching Freckle how to be a chicken, rather than a person. I think she was getting a bit too into Cory, uh, and she was, she was just really getting quite upset when people left the room. She didn't like it at all. Um, now, she's got these two and she's much happier. Now the idea is that during the day, these doors are going to be open. <laughs> We'll have these doors wide open during the day and I've made, it's only roughly thrown together, it doesn't have to look good, it just has to do its job. I've made this wooden frame with the chicken wire on it and that, when the doors are open, slots nicely in there, it wedges just behind the door bars there and then at the top, just to keep any foxes or cats or anything out during the day, little bolt slides into the top of that frame to keep them safe and then come night time I think it's going to have to be my brother's job because this is my brother's house not mine the kids wanted to see them growing up it's going to be probably my brother's job to remove the mesh each evening and close the doors and then each morning open the doors and put the mesh back but Amy's just giving them a little bit of grass to peck at because for some weird reason Freckle doesn't do it. Freckle's normal. She's from Dunstable. These two came from Luton and they're a bit weird. They've been pecking poo. Eating poo. Fighting over poo. They're doing it now. They're doing it now. Peggy has got a bit of poo. And Speckle's trying to get it off of her. It's really weird. We need to break that behaviour. Because it's not normal. So, I just put this little bit of grass in which they've not found yet. I suspect it's going to be Freckle who's normal who finds that and tries it first. Right, Peggy's found the grass. Here we go, oh, have they? Yeah, yeah, Speckle's got a bit of grass, and so's Freckle. They've all got a little bit of grass to peck at. Maybe that will stop them eating poo. So there you go, I was feeling quite bad about poor little Freckle, with no 
no chickens to play with and imprinting too heavily on us which is going to be tough on her when she has to join the big chickens up at the allotment and also she, she just would have been bullied so badly um, I think now she's off to, off to a much better start and uh, I think the three of them are going to be very happy they're certainly getting on alright at the moment uh, another update coming soon take care